Well, Lou, back in the medicine van, it's a different van, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Bigger, better, brighter. <laughs> but it's still, as you, you're suffused with Mr. Allen. <laughs> Well, it's a joy, and thanks for inviting us along. You're uh, in a bigger van over there, we're in yeah. the car park. Our German bus. Uh, of the uh, Ironworks, and you're playing with your one of your other bands. Yeah. How long has it been with Pill then? On and off since 1986, so it's 30 I know, years. and that's a long time for a band in rock and roll, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, there was a huge hole in the middle of 17 years where uh -huh. Leiden got... Uh, Mr. Lydon, our singer, got completely entangled with contractual bollocks where yeah. he had um, managers who were less honest than they might have been. Never. Who that they never just happens, thought, it? oh, it's never. time for another advance. 20% <laughs> into yes. the back pocket and got him yeah. so indebted and then just yeah. frittered money away. Yeah. It was in the good old days where there was far too much money in the business. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was uh, a yeah. strange and arrogant time. But um, he got tangled. He's up. extricated himself from that, though. Really. He did, yeah, and he extricated himself out of that by doing things like the butter advertisement, which he's yes. been roundly criticised yes. for. Yes. And I emphasise the word roundly. <laughs> but um, <coughs> but actually, that is what uh, yeah. eventually yeah. Uh, financed it, the, yeah. the, the the return. Of hate the references going back to always going back to the sex pistols and all that as well but he could have just revived that and gone with the sex pistols for a couple of years to do that well, you know you, you can read the interviews yourself but actually he's very proud of the sex pistols yeah. and he really <clears throat> I'm very appreciative of the break it gave him and the experience he had from it yeah. I mean of course there are aspects of it which uh, are young and mad madness. Well, it's, that's all. I, that's the good bit. I think the bad bit was where he felt that the band was really manipulated by yeah. the elders Again, and theoretically betters, but not yeah. actually the, the worsers. And, and that brings us right back to the start of the, that question: yeah. where he is now, uh, and where Pill are now, and where you are with all your other bands are completely independent yeah. and fan reliant for the next for the. Well, fun, fun, reliant, fun, fun reliant, fun reliant, <laughs> so. fun reliant yeah. yeah, for the next uh, project and well, we for so, the project yeah. you're on now. Yeah. We hope so. Yeah. As uh, Leiden says, not part of the shitstorm. Shitstorm, that's a nice <laughs> turn of phrase. He's yeah. always had a nice. He's turn always of phrase. had. He's, yeah. he's a very, uh, he's a good yeah. man with a word, yeah. and tries to say what he means. And Articulate what individual he says. and a hero, a modern hero, because he's always been pitching. His stuff in the face of the establishment. And yeah. The establishment has never seen the beauty of his yeah. art or, or his work, yeah. and always tried to. I think so. Denigrate, yeah. try to sort of detract, yeah. try yeah. to sort of you know make fun of yeah. you know yeah. whatever you yeah. know. Yeah. He doesn't get a break, and uh, yeah. what I find especially interesting is it's not just that the establishment, and let's face it, he was mentioned in Parliament in mm -hmm. relation to the Treason Act. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's nowadays, 30 or 40 years later, there's a huge section of the so-called liberal elite, people who consider themselves as left-wing and liberals. Yeah. They yeah. also find it a bit hard to... It sticks in their craw that actually, uh, while they have all become of compliant with yeah. the system yeah. and they feel that you yeah. know everything has improved yeah. he actually still sitting there going actually Nothing's no no actually this isn't yeah. really yeah. any better yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah. so it's uh, he in a way is a touchstone yeah i think you know he keeps going he's totally consistent mm -hmm. and uh, eventually I, I i would hope that people will 
just learn to accept it that he's a a great writer. Yeah. He's also someone who's never given in. Yeah. He never kowtowed. No, that's right. And that's very few people. He's the only one left. Yeah. I mean, you might have thought Strummer. Yeah, yeah. But he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weller, kowtowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. you know, style yeah. council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know which side is better of your butter it is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, etc., etc. et cetera. So, yeah. so, yeah, he's, he's a... He's a, a yeah, he's a he's stalwart. himself, you know. He's a, a stalwart, stalwart and a yeah. stoic. Bless and, his heart. Uh, Looking uh, forward to the show. What we, what do we expect from a pill show these days? I'll tell them later on. I'm sure. But. Well, you will, yeah. And well, I think <clears throat> we're quite, uh, you know, we're quite a well-meaning, <laughs> benevolent <laughs> lot. <laughs> we we try our best. Everyone plays yeah. their little socks off if they can. Yeah. It all depends on the on the on the place and very much on the people. What I've noticed on this tour is that if the audience are a bunch of gawpers, yeah, and you get gawpers, and they yeah. come and gawp and they go, "Ooh, he looks different to what he was in the Sex Pistols," uh, or you know, "Look, it's a rock and roll legend," or yeah, something like uh, that. Uh, then, uh, 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 then uh, you get the best. The gig doesn't really uh, work. But if people come to listen, they've got yeah. their little rabbit ears. Yeah. It start. It can really fly. Yeah. So and and you know we have no control over that. It's really down to the audience. Yeah. And they've got to audiate, or audient, audi audify. <laughs> they've got to listen. <laughs> and if people listen, then yeah. if they get into it, then we get into it. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 this is a great venue. It's lovely. It's an intimate size, and there's just one of the best sound systems Good. in that venue. Great. That you'll ever find. Because we've been doing quite uh, intimate this this time round. Yeah. I mean, there was the idea. Yeah. To, to get closer and closer to yeah. the audience, yeah. and um, and I think we've had two or three really good shows. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all instead of doing the whole O2 Academy thing, yeah, which exactly. we've done. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, well, I noticed that Falkirk and one or two other places like yeah, like Falkirk was really, last night. That was cool. Actually, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's been where else was good. Yeah. Places like Home First. Yeah. Again, a great yeah. little theatre there. Yeah. The, um, yeah. the big whatever it's called. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the band that brought us together and, yeah. and that crazy tour that took the Mekons to Jura. Yeah. With the album at the end of it. Well, the first and one the was, beginning of it. was actually, what, 25, 30 years I ago. know, Lou, yes, of course. We, we, were, we got to Alapool. Yeah. But uh, yeah, recently, wasn't it, in August yeah, 2005? 14. 14? 14? Yeah. 5, 4, no, 14, God, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, so the Mekons, they stretch right back then, as you've alluded to, that goes all the way yeah. back to when, well, with the Sex Pistols, was it? Exactly. I suppose they would, they would have led the Mekons into it. They totally that. did, yeah. yeah. As Kevin uh, Lysett rather unfortunately put it, we saw the Sex Pistols, we thought, that's a load of rubbish, we can do that as well. <laughs> Which hasn't else. endeared the Mekons much to the, to <laughs> the pill management, and probably quite greatly, but I would like to put on record that Kevin Lysett has not been in the band for 25 years, <laughs> and moving right along, and yeah, they they uh, they definitely were inspired, yeah. as I like to say. It, and yeah. I, I can speak for all of the Mekons, who yeah. are still Mekons. They yeah. absolutely love yeah. Leiden, and they love what Pill does, and yeah. they love the Pistols. So it's not a juxtaposition in any way whatsoever. Not at all. No. It's Although. All yeah. You're off, and the, uh, the Mekons, they got into that country music thing, didn't they, in a heavy oh, yeah. fashion? I mean, I don't think it takes a genius to understand that, you know, <laughs> if you're in punk, you're in three chords. Yeah, of and, course. Hang about, that's <laughs> folk music. <laughs> English, English folk music, and of yeah. course the great, like, yeah. John Gill, yeah. who was one of the tape ops at uh, Bill Leader's studio in yeah. Leeds. Yeah. Was it Leeds? I think it was Leeds, yeah. But, uh, you know, anyone look up Bill Leader will realise he was one of the stalwart, died in the wall, red communist agitators yeah. in the folk scene, along with Ewan McColl, uh, Kirsty McColl's yeah. dad, and all that. Yeah. So the Mekons kind of fell into that, and yeah. then <clears throat> through other help from Terry Nelson, who was a great DJ and archivist yeah. in Chicago, I've got into realised that actually. American folk music is yeah, like English folk music, anything, is Scottish, uh, is Irish. And it's all radical. And it's all, all yeah, yeah, and it's all yeah, people, it's all yeah, human yeah, music, yeah, yeah. which is what punk was. It's all about yeah, humans. Yeah, and true. You listen to Leiden talking about it, he's, yeah. he loves his folk music, he loves human music yeah. that's beyond 
the shit stem, which is it's beyond the commercial yeah. Yeah. zone of bollocks. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> me kind of had that very interesting little. Yeah. They've wandered, and as a result, That's we've right. never been included yeah. in, in 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 the punk pantheon. Yeah. You know, like since when has, right. has the Mekons have the Mekons ever been invited to a rebellion festival? Yeah. No, yeah. because we don't exist. You know, yeah. we've been written out of every single yeah. serious analysis, which is you know the Tony Parsons and the Julie Birch and the Gar what's his name, Feckpig, the guy who ended up with the Sun, Gary Bushell, mm. that end of uh, yeah. punk journalism which yeah, yeah. reduced everything to sham yeah, yeah, and, and that years. was it yeah. yeah and it was like they just completely it was they yeah. usurped they it was a pooch they completely yeah, yeah, then yeah. ripped apart and destroyed everything that punk was really about yeah. ignored yeah. bands like the slits you know yeah. the most fantastic breakthrough band yeah, where yeah, 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 girls yeah. I know. you know non-boys were actually yeah. suddenly allowed to be on stage and were accepted yeah. yeah you listen to Leiden talking about it, he completely agrees yeah with what I'm saying, he yeah. says, yeah, it was just a complete yeah. <coughs> dog's dinner. Yeah. And, you know, bands like Green Day came out of Gary yeah. Bushel's, you know, Ideas. Past, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. You know. <laughs> I mean, they're a great band. Yeah. They're very yeah. efficient, they're good. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. might be yeah. very nice, but they're very yeah. rich and they're very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to them. But that's nothing to do with, yeah, the pump. it's not part of the vitamin which has yeah. led the Mekongs to be the, the only band to sort of and to transmogrify and to yeah. transcend yeah. and try and, and explore keep, and keep taking keep working, those working, keep going out on those risky journeys like risky to, risk, the, to yeah, the yeah. west coast of Scotland or to Siberia yeah, or to yeah. wherever. That's it what it's it. about. Yeah. That's what I thought it was about. But actually, you know what, it isn't about that. Yeah. In the end, it's all about just getting people getting their tongues up the fucking <laughs> dib dibs and the rest of it. So, you know, I... Um, but, but, hey... You know, here we are. Here we are. We're in a miss. Yeah. We're, uh, you've got a gig that sustains your yeah. your life. Uh, the Mekons yeah. uh, have a have a culture around them that sustains the Mekons. Yeah, it's incredible. And yeah. Since the film, especially, it's yeah. like it yeah. doesn't make a huge difference, but it's just yeah. a little yeah. bit better. Yeah. So Joe Angel, yeah. who's the director who made the film, yeah, Revenge of the Mekons. Yes. And it was a painful process. We yeah. it was very uncomfortable having this guy following us around for six years. <laughs> sticking his camera in our faces but actually in the end he did a really sweet job yeah. and it was a nice edit uh-huh. ritzy her name was miss miss ritzy yeah. can't remember her first name so you've got a new album coming yeah which sounds album, great which is yeah we recorded it with one microphone because the, <laughs> like, the, the, like they used to do in the olden days like you know well Aside from Dura, which is yeah. technically a mini Mekons record, yeah, 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 previous yeah. to that, the last two records were recorded in bed and breakfast. <laughs> so in between, we have two or three days off because no one wants to give us a gig. So we book into a big B&B and all sleep on the floor. If there was a big room, there had yeah. to be a big room. And I'd yeah. lay out, I had a little sort of interface, and we'd yeah. lay out 10 microphones, like yeah. 10 plus 2, nice. you know, not 8 plus 2. And we just jam for yeah. two or three days. Yeah. Get drunk, cook. Yeah, yeah. You can actually hear people cooking in the background yeah. of some of the tracks. Yeah, that's. I love that about the way you put that natural album together and, uh, as well. But that was the natural and the yeah. uh, ancient and modern record. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then that was the all, new one. And happening. then and then the new one, we just thought, well, let's go the other way and just have one microphone. And we found a place in Red Hook. God for the life of me, I can't remember the name. In Brooklyn, that is. So yeah. it was a tiny old theatre. It's an old, like, you know, turn of the 100 year old theatre, but it's like 75 capacity. Yeah. And uh, it's a little proscenium and a stage uh-huh. and, and a tiny PA. And so the band set up on the stage and we had one microphone on in front of us on the on the, on the floor, yeah. the singers like Sally, John, Eric yeah. and Tom yeah. gathered around that and they'd get closer or further away yeah. to do backing work. Yeah. Yeah. And we just went and did 12 tracks. Nice. And uh, we did them in three sets, we did yeah. four, four and four. The so audience were involved in that. The audience, the yeah, they paid $75, 75 of them. <laughs> they sold out in a day. <laughs> so we made a lot of money to actually finance the record. So yeah, that yeah. was the you know, live crowd, crowd funding. And uh, we ended up with um, 
Um, and they're all singing on that. We had a conductor, a very nice guy. <laughs> he conducted them all, and you know, they all sang along or made silly noises or oh, man, what an experience. clapped or whatever. It was great. I would have got and we filmed it all. Seventy-five dollars for that. And that's yeah, right. that's good. So it, they're all going to be on the album, and uh, there'll be a DVD. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've got a full camera shoot of it. Yeah. It's just a couple of pals, the yeah. handheld, and yeah. shoot guy pros. That's what I've got in here. It's all good. We'll do it at some so point. So that will come out, and yeah. then. Yeah. And then, yeah, then we've got a little tour in uh, September uh, in the States. Yeah. We're going to got some festivals, finishing up at the Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, which is a fantastic, one of the best festivals I've ever had. Really? Experience of Where's that one? Well, it's in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Uh, and it's, uh, I and was it's, dreaming of San Francisco last night. I should come. I should come, should come to because it's organised by uh, um, the estate now of uh, the late billionaire Warren, not Buffett, but the other guy. Uh -huh. And uh, he's this billionaire, and actually all he really wanted to do in life was be a bluegrass player. <laughs> and he had a band called the Wronglers, it was basically his pals. <laughs> and he said, all right, I'll fund this festival so long as we get to play. <laughs> and, and then they engaged uh, the lady, I can't remember her name, sorry, uh, yeah. from Slims, and she yeah. does all the programming. Yeah. And the Hardly Strictly theme is that they have total and utter 100% pure bluegrass like. Hazel Dickin was there, yeah. they had uh, um, you know, Del McCoury, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean amazing yeah, players. Yeah, 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 yeah. And at the same time you have the Hardly Bluegrass, so they have the Mekons or yeah. Nick Lowe, or, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, and yeah. so it's all, you yeah. know, it's, it's, and it's got five stages, yeah. oh, I mean, beautiful. That's just, that sounds like Rob Heaven. Free. Oh really? Even better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like Rob Heaven. It is fantastic. Yeah. How's Robbie? Robbie Fuchs. We haven't seen him much, but since, you know, we, I, yeah. I, 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 since I'm he's got an album, mate, right, and I suppose. Yeah, he's got a fan. I'm, I'm a fan of him. Uh -huh. His, uh, his blogs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is great. Yeah. So yeah, I think he's doing all right. The Judah yeah. album sleeve blog is just. I think he's recovered. <laughs> Trying to make it float while the sea runs dry. I've been working on an ark, working in the dark under sorry skies. Land ahoy! Round the corner from your lights and noise. Solar project before we leave ah. this in very interesting interview and thank you very much yeah uh, lovely to see you anyway but it's nice to sit and talk about your life as well yeah, thank you yeah. thank you uh solar project what's going to happen yeah well i'm feeling sort of um I, you know i've been thinking for some years uh, well i'm now 58 so maybe it's all right to make a solo record maybe people won't be annoyed <laughs> yeah and you know, I can write songs. And I can. You write great. I mean, they, they go right back to to uh, if somebody hasn't. You normally do a little monologue or something during a making show, don't you? Or you you ah. do something off your own back, mm. and that 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 process. Like well, grandpa's musical. Well, it is a musical thing. Is this what what you're thinking about? Well, let, doing? I've got a few lines in the front. I and mean, I'm also in a band called the Triabolique, uh -huh. which is three guitarists. That's me. Yeah. And uh, the guy who plays with Robert Plant, yeah. a guy called Justin Adams, nice. and Ben Mandelson, who's you know, a stalwart, played with me with yeah. Billy Bragg, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Three Mustafas Three. And, ah. and we just play, so that... I, I saw the Three Mustafas Three, that means I saw you before the Mekons at Glastonbury in 1984. I, well, I didn't might play not that. Have been there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd already started... So I used to be... I was in it before that, and then yeah. I went and joined... Okay. Hill, um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that's a little project nice. and where I sing and all that. And yeah. uh, so I could do more of that and we've got a, a, a tour apparently getting booked for 2018 Sweet. in France. Oh, Imagine that. I want to go two to years ahead two years ahead of time. Yeah. Do you want somebody to film that for you? We'll yeah. talk to your people should talk to my people. No, <laughs> but at the same time I've, I've, I'm trying to put together a um, a radio play. Yeah. So hopefully in the next sort of couple of months that will sort of appear. Manifest itself. And uh, I'll yeah. tell you about it. 
Excellent. But um, I'm quite excited about that because yeah. it's, uh, it's been quite a long process putting that together. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, it's very, it's like a political satire. Yeah. It's the main. You know, yeah. It's just, it's a satirical radio play. Well, yeah. I like to think it's satirical. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff that needs satirising these days. Oh, it gets away with blue murder and yeah, everyone yeah, takes yeah. it. Mm, it's it's yeah. very proper. Yeah. It's high time someone. Yeah, it's so. Yeah. Excuse me. Balloon pin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, yeah, it's too much hypocrisy around, and that's yeah. the only way to deal with it. Yeah. I think so. Cause yeah. Well, one is one way, but so. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Other, well, the other, the other ones are more violent. At least yeah. it's po poking fun of people. Yeah, they've got more guns than we have. Yeah, that's the problem. And they've got uh, all sorts of. Yeah. Evil weaponry, yeah. which nobody cares about. Yeah, and all the resources. Everything's, everything's great. We are here in a neoliberal paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Did you know, I, I read the Guardian. What's what's your problem? <laughs> everything's fantastic. <laughs> Luke Harding, I love you. You're so great. Sean Walker, thank you. Alex Lewin, <laughs> thank you for all of your amazing, unbiased reporting about Russia. Thank you. <laughs> I look forward to that. With, I seriously look forward to to yeah. see to seeing that and to uh, witnessing the next step of the Lou Edmonds progression. Happy trails, my friend. Thank you. It's a delight to be here with you. It's my and Keystone Cops contribution to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's like. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you.